Hello everyone, it is Mr. Stubstep and great day to you all. So, today I have a pretty simple opening, this Orbital V-Box, which comes with four booster packs and we'll open this up shortly. And then I also have two Sword and Shield base and two Sun and Moon base to accompany it to make it a full octet for y'all. If you can't tell by the echo in this video or just the surroundings, we are actually moving. So, you can see there is nothing in this house except for a table that my buddy needs to pick up. We had a little, a little going away party last night in this empty shell of a home, so yeah. All right, let's open these up. Sorry for interrupting the video, but I actually did have one pickup. I got another card towards the Team Rocket set, and this is a Dark Hypno. I actually won this off of eBay, my first auction that I've ever won off of eBay, and it's actually not in bad condition. Like I would say it's like a lightly played to moderately played condition. Um, so I'm very pleased. I think I paid, or whatever I paid for it will be down below and then how much it's worth based on its condition. It does have a lot of scratching on the hollow, but I mean, overall, it's not a bad card at all. I mean, it's not first edition or anything, but it is a hollow that I'm looking for. You see little ticks right there. So yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm one, one hollow rare closer to completing Team Rocket. If you want to see the back, there it is. So first off, we'll start off with the Orbital V Jumbo card. It's a nice looking Jumbo card. I like to see, yeah, sometimes the centering on these is really funny. This one is just like the normal amount of bad. I do have these Jumbo sleeves from BCW. And then I also have, oh, the little top loaders too, which are kind of cool. Protected. <clears throat> Got that Orbital V promo. Not a huge fan of Orbital, but it's a, it's a cool little promo. I like it. And we got the code for the Orbital V box. That promo. So the Orbital V box has a very good pack selection. I'm actually surprised it isn't like sold out sooner. You get two Vivid Voltage, a Darkness Ablaze, and a Burning Shadows, which are all great sets in my opinion. They all have a good chase card. And they all have Charizard, even though Vivid Voltage, Vivid Voltage's Charizard isn't you know, one of the greatest. And then I do have the two Sword and Shield, two Sun and Moon base set. This one was like glued inside of it, of the sleeve booster, like hardcore. And so I had to rip it off, which was kind of sketch. All right, so I'm trying to think, we'll probably do a Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield first. Then we'll do these two, and then we'll do another Sun and Moon Sword and Shield, and then save these two for last. So we have a nice, a nice mixture going. Like, look at all those pretty colors. It's nice. All right. So starting off with the center more pack art, Sun and Moon. It's just so, it's so, oh man, it's so weird how like Sun and Moon is still a set that a lot of places are still getting more boosters from Sun and Moon, and just like, enough. You want more new stuff versus more of the old stuff, but you still see Sun and Moon base, Guardians Rising, all that stuff show up, so. Ooh, that's a reverse rare. A Lowland Dub Trio and a Golduck. Nice. So Sun and Moon starting us off decently well. Oh, let's get the Sword and Shield base. Love to get the the gold shield doggo since I have pulled the gold sword doggo already, which would be nice. I think this is a set that I'll definitely want to complete a master set eventually because I have pulled the chase card in it. I think that's going to be my criteria for if I collect the set or not, or like fully collect the master set or not. Um, if oh, reverse hollow uncommon salazzle and. Orin Guru. Ooh, that's a hollow though. That's not bad. I like that. But basically, if I pull the chase card in the set and there isn't any more like super expensive cards, then I think I'll just collect the master set of that. Because I'm noticing, like trying to collect some other sets that I don't have the chase card in, I can get all the cards and then the final card is the most expensive, and it's just, dang, do I really want to spend that much money on one card? But then it's like to complete the set, and I'm just, I'm very torn, very torn. 
Flaring Meowth, Voltorb, Duskull, Weedle, Reverse Hollow, a rare Duraludon, and Garbodor Non Hollow. All right, so not doing horrible, but not doing great either. We have a Darkness of Blaze pack. Ooh. Never go wrong with these Charizard sets, that's for sure. There's so much goods inside, or potential goods, I guess. Not really guaranteeing anything with these individual boosters, but then there's really no limit either, which is kind of cool. Nice. Still don't have the blaze again from this set. It'd be nice to get one day. Simeon, Bunnelby, Heat Energy Reverse, not bad, and a Bear Tick, non hollow, rare, which, oh, he's like underwater. But I don't have this one yet, so that's kind of nice. All right, final Sun and Moon base. Oh, these packs are just, my goodness, definitely. Okay, so this one, we're gonna go like that. Nice, look at me, I'm, I'm getting real fancy now. All right, Sun and Moon. I, I haven't pulled a good card from Sun and Moon base in a long time, but yeah. I order, I usually order like a booster box of the new set and try to get one of, at, le at least one of every product and then it's reverse uncommon and Bruxish. I've gotten this freaking rare so many times. I hate it. And then if I pull the chase card from those, then that's when I'm like, okay, I'm gonna collect the master set. But if I don't pull the chase card, then you know, I'll, I'll still collect the set and it'll grow over time. But I don't think I'll ever shoot for the master set because getting master set of everything, that just it gets expensive. Like some people are able to as sets come out like consistently get the master set, move on to the next one, get the master set, move on to the next one. I'm just, I can't keep up with that because I do like to open as well. Verse hollow, and that is a rare lantern number 69 and poltergeist. Oh my goodness. This is pretty weak. I'm hoping for at least one ultra rare, like come on. The reason why I do these octet openings is usually with eight packs, the guarantee, I don't want to say guaranteed, but generally, Oh, okay, there we go. Burning Shadows. Generally, gotta get at least one good hit. I mean, I got a hollow hit, but still, that's just, you know. Burning Shadows. Always like to open some Burning Shadows. Not bad at all. Nice, Sandy Gas, Venipede, Horsey, Mud Bray, First Hollow Panseer, and Mudsdale. Vivid Voltage, please save us, Vivid Voltage. Oh man, this has been a really rough opening, my goodness. Maybe I wasn't meant to open anything before this move. I am excited moving to another state because I don't have more, or I guess different places to search for Pokemon cards, which is kind of exciting for me. Because I mean, part I think part of the fun, you know, getting pulls and all that stuff, but I do, it is fun. The hunt is very fun as well, either online or in stores. Like, I feel like you're not a true collector unless you've spent, you know, a full day on like a weekend just going from store to store. Reverse Hollow Mighty Yenna, the final pull of this opening. Don't let me down, Mighty Yenna. It's a Genesect Hollow. Holy man. Well, I wish I had more packs to open so I could end on something better, but at least we ended on a Hollow, so that's not too bad. But yeah, I post videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, and then on Sundays, if I have like a miscellaneous video that I want to get out, it can vary in content, not really card, it can be card related or not card related. But yeah, I post Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you like what you see, you know, feel free to like, or if you have any feedback, leave it down below in the comment section or dislike, and then I'll know to, you know, change things up a little bit. Well, I want to thank you guys so much and have a good one.